here to do a quick video on um, my review of the Henry Bendel Jet Setter backpack. It's a convertible backpack, meaning, um, well, I can show you how what it does, but um, it's mainly a backpack, but you can also uh, convert it into a crossbody or you can hold it by the strap here. So this is what it looks like. I have it in black. It's um, nylon for the most part around here, with the exception of um, the Safiano leather that um, it's lined. So then this part, this part, and also um, some of the back parts. Um, this, this bag has been really great for traveling for me. I personally love that it's nylon, so it's water resistant, but it's also very light. You know, if you have really good quality leather, sometimes it could get pretty heavy. Um, I also like that it's a, a backpack, so you can easily take it with you when you're traveling and you need the free hands, um, and it's evenly distributed. Uh, the weight of it is distributed on your back, so it's not as harsh on one one side of your shoulder or the other. Um, but what's really good about it is that it's convertible, so you can also decide to not use it as a cross or backpack and use it as a crossbody, or you can hold it by uh, the strap here, whether um, you know on your wrist or your elbow. You can put it all the way to your shoulder, but. Um, yeah, it's pretty versatile. This one is, it comes in two sizes. This one's a small size. There's also a regular size or the large, I guess. The large is a little different. It has pockets along the, on each side. For me, um, with the small one, it has a front slip pocket here and also a back slip pocket here. When I'm um, going somewhere, I like to sleep, slip my phone into here because when I wear it on my back, um, it's protected. Whereas if I put it in the front, people can easily take it out. There's also this detailing of a lock, and this lock doesn't really do much. Neither does any of this other stuff up here. It's for decorations. The main compartment of this bag is actually a zipper pocket up top, right here. And um, you can actually button this part uh, together to make it more uh, harder to open and stable. I, I hardly ever do that just because I want to get in and out of this bag um, easier. So if you unzip this zipper, you get into the main compartment, which is lined in this kind of royal purple blue color, um, kind of like a satin. And inside are, uh, is one slip pocket here. And then on the other side is a zip pocket right here. So uh, both pockets are not extremely big, just FYI. The main compartment is big just as is, so if you want a lot of compartments, this bag is not really the one to do that for you, but um, as for a travel companion, it's great, like I said, for the previous reasons. The back is um, held together on, as a backpack by this ring, and these have snap pockets, snap buttons, which can unsnap. So I can show you how to take this apart. If you unsnap both of these, and then they're lobster clasped down here, so you can unclasp these. And then now it becomes just a regular bag, but with the two straps that you've um, un unbuckled, you can buckle them to themselves. Because when you do that, this, this two strap becomes one long strap. And what you do to convert it into a crossbody is you take the lost lobster clasps, like right here, and you clasp it to the top of, of the bag like that and also the other one on this side like that so then you get a long crossbody strap and of course it's adjustable so you can adjust it with these um, what that looks like on me it's right here I'm five one for reference so it's sitting kind of starting from my hip and down um, Probably need to shorten a little bit. Crossbody would be fine like so. So um, I got the smaller size because as a backpack, it's fine. But if I got the larger one as a crossbody, it would be a little too big. So that's kind of why I stuck with that. But I really love it. It fits a lot of stuff. So what I've been normally fitting with into it is my sunglasses case. 
um, my Tory Burch um, Marion quilted wallet. I've also fit um, my keys easily in there. I just kind of toss it in there. And like probably some lip gloss and some other stuff, but there's still plenty of space. So yeah, um, my phone, let me just grab it really quick, is uh, the Samsung Galaxy S6. So if you want to look online for dimensions, um, this is what it looks like. If I slipped it into the front, it doesn't disappear all the way, but it does slip nicely, easily in there. It pokes out a little bit. The same with the back pocket. Actually, I can do it this way so you can see where the camera po pokes out. So it kind of pokes out a little bit, but not too bad. So if I'm wearing it as like a crossbody or a backpack, then this part is safe. Um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of uh, what the uh, sorry, uh, the Henry Bendel Jetser convertible backpack looks like. Um, I Like I said, I really like this. I've used this a lot. Oh, I also got it monogrammed. Um, it has Henry Bendel and I got it monogrammed with my initials. Um, but I, I really, really like this bag because like I said, it's very lightweight. It's it's convertible. I love things when, our, when things are like two in one. So then you can, you know, bring one thing, but you can have make two things out of it and it's great when you're traveling um yeah so lightweight water resistant and it's just something that looks pretty stylish um i think in terms of in terms of my most used travel bag uh currently it would be this one um i've used it for a cruise i've used it for a day cruise um and like a company picnic i've i mean it's just like a, a day trip it's, it's just great it doesn't fit too much like I said if you want to fit more I would I would suggest getting the the large size um that one does fit a lot more but if you're petite and you don't really need too too much then this this would be a good size um it's available on Henry Bendel's website and I believe it's about 200 something dollars I don't remember I got it on sale I have a, I had a coupon code so mine was just I think just um just a, either 200 or maybe slightly over but it was it was a great deal um i and i really like it i'm glad i made the investment and purchased one of this so hopefully this was helpful if you have any other questions please um let me know leave it in the comments below and i'll try to answer it as soon as i can um but otherwise i'll see you guys in my next video all right bye